Hey guys, it's Core Ross, and welcome to the 6 News Roundup. Today we're running up all the Rainbow Six News over the last week or so. And we'll start with the return of Rainbow is Magic. Rainbow Six Siege is very controversial when it launched April Fool's event, which somehow has just gotten into the hearts of the players. So it returned, but it is different. Last time it was just a normal hostage on plane. This is actually an entirely different game mode, where both teams have a bear and you have to go and assassinate the enemy team's bear or attempt to protect your own. And players either seem to love this game mode or hate it. But we also got something else this week that I was very surprised to see, and that was the mid-season balancing. I was kind of thinking next week was my guess for when we'd see the announcement, but it came this week, went up in the test server, and it should be there for probably two weeks. That'll give it a potential launch date of April 11, but we won't know until probably the day before. And this will bring all these balancing changes to the live servers. And it's also when Mousetrap will be officially switched on. So yeah, looking forward to that a lot. I've actually played no console ranked this season whatsoever. Instead, I've been playing the PC side. And I'm going to jump on to the console side as soon as Mousetrap out is out and see if there's like a significant difference in gameplay or, you know, just to see if it impacts my actual experience at all. However, talking about patches, we got a hotfix. Now, the hotfix was an actual patch that you downloaded, but it fixed the game server crashing related to Brava, specifically Brava's drone. And I just love the fact that this hacker drone was somehow actually bringing down the servers, which is hilarious. This patch also fixed a Rainbow is Magic bug with the Battle Pass points in the UI. And I do wonder, they call this a hotfix, but is this actually the 0.2 patch? Because it used to be we'd have a 0.1 patch, 0.2 patch, then the mid-season was a 0.3 patch. And because this is a hotfix, but you actually do download a patch, I wonder if this is what would have been called a 0.2 patch back in the day. And now, obviously, they make the 0.2 patch the mid-season patch instead. Now let's change tracks away from Siege for a little bit and then we'll go back to Siege for some more news. But let's talk Extraction. So Rainbow Six Extraction is effectively over development wise. The actual team that was developing for it is gone and actually that was uh, last year the development stopped in the game. They also released a roadmap last year letting us know that there'll be no new content going forward. But what you might be interested in is a video I did about leaks for Rainbow Six Extraction. Now some of these leaks were real, like there's a, a Jackal cosmetic and he was apparently going to get added into the game and stuff like that. However, there was a whole bunch of fake leaks that promised this huge amount of content dropping. So even if you don't like Extraction, it's worth a watch because you find out how an entire community for the game was duped into believing all these photoshopped leaks that of course never came and development for the game was actually already stopped by the time these leaks were coming out. So much so that the fans of the game actually ignored the official roadmap. So well worth a watch if you haven't seen it already. However, let's jump back to Siege news. So a story comic was released this week, which actually introduces the brand new opera coming with season two, which is a Swedish opera. Now, it doesn't directly say that, but there's a shadowy figure with text at the bottom that says Rainbow's new opera will be revealed next season, which is actually just under four weeks away. And this also lets us know that the explosion we've seen in the cinematic at the start of this year where Ash and Thermite got caught up in it, they have both survived, but Ash is in a coma. And this uh, story comic actually shows us that. So worth checking out if you've not seen it. I just hope story elements eventually make it into the game rather than just in comics. But anyway guys, that is all the news this week for Rainbow Six Siege. I expect we're not going to have too much news over the next couple of weeks until the mid-season launches and we see Mousetrap in action, which I am extremely curious to see how that's going to impact gameplay. And I will be playing ranked that entire week non-stop because I'm assuming there's going to be a counter to it that the developers of the hardware that is used for cheating will come up with. But if there's any time where they just, you know, it actually works and it's successful, I want to take full advantage of that.